Two of my friends are what you would call salty people. Uh, they have salt mines, they are the kings of salt. And they are people that I really appreciate and that I know I can count on them. And I'm gonna explain to you why you should get yourself a salty friend. So the difference between salty and tilt is that if you're salty, you're upset over something little, something that doesn't have any important consequences uh, relatively for other people. And when you're tilted, it's that you are producing effort and you're trying to achieve a result and other people are just doing whatever and it's not productive and it's getting incredibly frustrating and you just get really really tilted and you want to break stuff. All in all, in the two cases, it's the discrepancy between something that is important for you and not important for others. When people say you're salty, it's because you get upset over something that doesn't upset other people that much and if you're tilted it's because you're trying to obtain something and the amount of work you're putting in isn't worth the results. There is also a difference between the salty people and rager where rage is gonna rage and salty people, everyone can get salty if you ask someone not to put tomatoes in your sandwich and they do put them. Well you're salty obviously because they're not listening to you and it was not a difficult demon and you have the right to feel upset about this. There are people that make fun of people getting tilted and salty and rage quitting. I think that's okay to laugh at people reacting that way because I mean they're getting angry for stuff that are no matter of consequences but I don't think it's okay to provoke this type of uh, behavior like to provoke uh, someone into getting tilted. I don't think that's okay because you have fun but this person is obviously not having fun and I don't think that's kind of you to do that. So what does this imply if you have friends like that? Well the obvious first thing that comes to mind is that they care and they care a lot and about a lot of stuff. They care about stuff that you don't care about or you do not deem as important but they do which means that for things that are really important, they obviously care about it and they understand why you care about stuff as well. And because they care so much, sometimes too much, they have this protection called I don't give a shit. And so they have this dynamic where you talk to them about stuff and they don't answer or just answer okay because they don't have time for shit. They care about the important stuff. And it's not that they don't care about you, because they do, it's just that they care about different stuff than you care about. And that's why you call them salty, and that's why they tilt about stuff. It's because what they care about, most of other people don't care that much. And so what you care about, they don't care that much. But it doesn't mean that they don't care about you, it's just that they care differently and they uh, express it differently. As much as they understand your need of uh, talking about stuff uh, that they don't care as much as you about, they also know exactly where they stand and what are their limits. When you want to talk to them about something and they just say, you know, don't talk to me right now, I'm gonna get tilted. They don't pretend to care about stuff they don't care about, they don't pretend that they're gonna take time for you even if they don't care. And I think honesty is a valuable virtue to have in a friend, especially if this friend care about you because they won't take no bullshit from you. Salty people are reliable. You know that in any circumstances whatsoever, you cannot count on them. They were just kidding. The thing is, you know what you can and cannot ask of them. For example, if you want a hug, okay, they're done for it. If you want to call because uh, you're in a bad place, okay, they have time to talk with you. You want to do something on Sunday? They told you they had some event planned. What are you bothering them about? And you know exactly where you stand with them. And at this point, you might think, it doesn't matter, I can never be best friend with this type of people because they're never gonna care enough about what I need them to care about. And first of all, that's not true. One of the friends I was talking about in the beginning is someone that, as of today, trusts with my life. And I am really grateful for their help and presence in my life. 
And if I want to talk to them about stuff and they don't have the mind for it because they also have things going on with their life, I respect that because they respect when I don't have the time for them. And they know that we are a different person and that we care about different stuff and that's okay. It doesn't prevent you from caring about the person as a whole. So they make you ponder things and make you reconsider um, important stuff and not so important stuff. Random fact of the day, if you drink your own blood, you can get poisoned and die from it. And I learned that because I was reading a comic and uh, the guy had a noise blade and someone told them to put their head back. And an ambulance man rushed and said, no, no, you must put your head down. And I asked an ambulance uh, woman that I know uh, what and why and what's going on with this. And she told me, basically, if you put your head back, you can drink your own blood and get poison from it, and it's really bad. And if you put your head down, the weight of your brain is going to push against your blood vessel in your nose and stop the bleeding. So that's what you should do if you get a nose bleed. And finally, for today's music, is the karaoke version of After Dark by Tino and Tarantula and I was actually searching for an instrumental version but only the karaoke version was uh, popular in YouTube so that's the one I took even if it's a bit different than the original song which I absolutely love and I hope you like it. Take care of yourselves folks and hope to see you soon.